Hi, welcome to our webpage. We are Resilient Scholars. My name is Alexis Villa, and I am the Resilient Scholars Counselor and Coordinator for the program. My name is Elizabeth Sanchez, and I'm the Student Success Specialist for Resilient Scholars. All right. All right, so we would like to provide a short overview of our program. So we are under the Student Equity and Achievement Program Division, and we do serve students that have experiences in foster care or experiences of homelessness. So a question we do get a lot is, who is eligible for the program? And we answered this question by stating that any student with an experience in foster care or homelessness is eligible, as long as they're within the ages of 16 to 24. And we use an asterisk on the 24 because sometimes students may apply and they're about to be 25 or already 25 and about to turn 26. So on a case by case basis, we will admit students that may be older than the ages listed on this slide. So a quick definition for any student that was in foster care is a student that was removed at any time between the ages of zero to 18 from their biological family and placed either into a receiving home or transitional housing for at least a day. In addition to that, um, a student that we consider a student that has experienced homelessness is a student that may be couch surfing or staying with friends temporarily, living in a shelter, living in a hotel, or living out of their car and or any other form of homelessness. Now, you don't need to have both experience of foster care and homelessness to be in the program, as long as you have either or, that will make you eligible to receive services. So what does our program offer? Our program, we try to provide a holistic case management approach, and some of our services include counseling. So we will, um, throughout your academic journey, we do help you with the counseling services and complete a student educational plan with you. Um, we do help with book assistance as uh, funding becomes available. We also help with emergency assistance on an ongoing basis for our students with any food or housing uh, basic needs, um, also with technology. And we do provide contactless delivery option for our students at this time during the pandemic. In addition to that, um, our student success specialist and myself, we do try to go and follow up with you on a bi-weekly to monthly basis to make sure that everything's going well. Our program also provides uh, community referrals for additional resources. So now Liz is gonna kind of talk a little bit about our workshops and what they're all about. All of our workshops are currently via Zoom. They are an hour to an hour and a half long and we meet once a week. We cover self-care, wellness, motivation, study skills, financial literacy, education, career, employment skills, study skills, community resources, social media safety, and other topics. The first 15 minutes of our workshops is follow-up time where we are able to share what we're going through that week and we can support each other. Awesome. So, Quit. students ask, how do I maintain program eligibility? So we all we ask is that you do meet with uh, myself as, as counselor for two times during the semester. And these meetings are to ensure that you're doing well in your classes and kind of serve as a check in to make sure that we can support you with any follow up services that you may need while you're at ABC. And in addition to that, um, Liz does have students complete check-ins as requested, maybe through email or a phone call, just to check in and follow up on how you're doing. Also, we do ask that students complete at least four workshops per semester. So out of that long list, we do offer weekly workshops. So you'll have plenty of opportunities to make sure that you complete four throughout the whole course of the semester. And we're hoping that with this quick overview, you're encouraged to apply today. Our link to our application is below this video along with the username and password. When you click on this link, um, the website will ask you for a username, which is listed right there as ivc.student and the password that you can enter before you enter your application information. All your application information is confidential and will only be used for our, uh, by our program staff to process it. So we have our contact information on our webpage, but we'll just mention it really quickly. We are available by phone, email, and Zoom. So if you have any questions, please send us an email or give us a call, and we will also list our Zoom hours, walk-in hours, and by appointment below this video as well. 
We're so excited that you're here and Liz and I are want to be part of your academic journey. We want to see you succeed at IVC and thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in reaching out. Take care. Bye.